We, um, we've all become very cognizant of Jack and his story. And when Alibaba went public with the largest IPO in history, uh, we knew a lot more about him. So I want to talk about his personal story. I want to talk about how many times he tried and failed and what kept him going. I want to talk about where he is today and how he got here and where he is going and how he expects to get there. And if he gets there, what will it all mean for him and for the people uh, that he wants to inspire? So I begin with this question though, Jack. Why are you back at Davos? <laughs> it's a, it's a long break for seven years. I think uh, my last time trip here was year 2008. But um, I was coming for year 2001 for the Young Global Leader for Tomorrow. And I think, remember, I never heard about the Davos when I came. But when I came I, uh, I, in the Switzerland, so many young people demonstrate. It was such a horrible scene that I was, and, and I asked them, well, why did they do it? They say, anti-globalization. And I say, why? Globalization is a great thing. Why people ant you know, don't like it? And then we come all the way for two hours here. There's a machine gun. There's a people checking us. I say, oh, God, is that, is that a fallen or is that a prison? We're going to go with that. <laughs> but when I joined the fallen uh, as the young global leader, I was thrilled by uh, so many ideas. And for the first three, four years, I learned what, what, does, what does the globalization mean? What does the corporate citizenship mean? What about social responsibility mean? And all these new ideas, and I see so many great leaders talking about leadership, and I benefit a lot. In the year 2008 and <clears throat> nine, when the financial crisis came, I think it's better go back to work, because we can never win the world by talking. So we go back, spend seven years, now I come back, I think it's time to do something return. Because I learned so much Let's talk 12 about years that. ago. So why I should not talk to the young global leader of today, sharing with them how we've gone through. That was the